Good morning, and a blessed Thursday morning to you. Would you open up your Bibles, please, for our time of study to Romans, the third chapter. Romans, chapter 3. His name was Ray Palmer, and Palmer was a poet. He would keep a little notebook with him, and when inspiration would come, he would write down his poetry. Well, one day he was walking along, and he ran into a person by the name of Lowell Mason. Mason was a composer, and Mason told him that he was putting together a, a book of hymns, and he was wondering if Palmer had any kind of poetry that he could put to music. They went into a restaurant. Palmer took out his notebook and showed him the lyrics to what would become that great, great hymn, My Faith Looks Up to Thee. Look with me, please, at Romans chapter 3, beginning with verse 23. Since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, they are now justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a sacrifice of atonement by his blood effective or received through faith. The gospel is that beautiful, beautiful message that God in his love sent his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ went to the cross and bore all of our sin upon him. And through the shed blood at the cross, we have been reconciled. Through the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ, the world has been reconciled unto God. That is an accomplished fact, and that is received through faith, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Nowhere in Scripture does it give any indication that one can be saved apart from faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That gives rise to a question, doesn't it? What about those who have never heard the gospel? What about them? Turn over with me, please, to Romans, the 10th chapter. Romans, chapter 10. I'd like to start in verse 14. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one of whom they've never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. God brings people to faith where and when it pleases him. That's God's business. We're just people that cast the seed of the gospel. We're just tools that God uses to cast the seed. But people are brought to faith by God where and when it pleases him. That means the question changes, doesn't it? The question changes from what about those who've never heard, to who is it that I can tell? That's the question for us to answer. And as the faithful go forward, the song of grace, the song of the gospel is sung, and God by his grace brings people to faith. Who is it that I can tell? Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this time in your word. Your word is truth. Lord, we give you thanks that you are the one that brings people to faith, that you bring those to faith where and when it pleases you. And so, Father, Help us to be faithful in what it is 
is our calling to be bold proclaimers of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, guide us to whom we can tell that glorious, glorious news. In Jesus' strong and holy name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Encourage someone. Thank you.